I've been uploading speed paints on this channel for a few years now, and I realized that the speed painting community isn't very big, but there are a lot of people who want to be speed painters. They just don't have the tools to do it. So I'm going to walk you through it and give you some free options to get your speed painting channel started. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Everybody loves free stuff, right? You can click the sections on the screen if you're looking for something specific and want to skip ahead and not hear me talk forever. There are links in the description to all the stuff that I'm going to be talking about as well. If you have questions about technical stuff, I probably won't be able to help you. Sorry, I'm not good with that stuff at all. But I'll try. I'll try. So first off, the most frequent question I get regarding software is, where can I get a free drawing program? So I scouted out some software that doesn't require purchase. However, I haven't tried all of these out. So some may have a trial period and then you have to purchase it afterward. Let me know if there are any on this list that are like that and I will adjust the video accordingly. This is just because I can't test everything on these lists personally. I also can't guarantee that all of these will work on Mac, but I'm fairly sure that if you have Windows, you'll be fine. If you don't like the idea of downloading something or just don't trust me to not give you a virus, there are also some websites here that allow you to draw online like these. If you don't have a computer, you can still draw on mobile, like a tablet, iPad, you know, a smartphone. These are just some examples of the apps you can use, but I'm sure if you looked on the App Store or the Play Store or wherever, you can find others that maybe work for you better. So now you've got a way to draw, but you still need a way to record your screen. Here are some free recording programs, ta-da! Also, if you have Windows 10, you already have a screen recorder on your computer. It's called the Game Bar. By going to your art program and holding the Windows button and G, you'll um, open up a little pop-up that looks like this thing. Even though it's not a game, you gotta lie a little bit and click yes, and it'll open up a little bar where you can record up to an hour of footage at a time. I use debut video capture software, which does have a free version, but it'll watermark your recording unless you buy the full, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. So just use the home version. It's fine. It's fine. For mobile, a lot of people recommend AV Screen Recorder, but I'm positive that you can find other apps if you look for them. All right, at this point, you've drawn your picture, you recorded the process, now what? You need editing software to put it together. Windows Movie Maker obviously only works on Windows computers, but it's what I use and is the simplest as far as I've seen. It's pretty old though, and it may have some bugs and there's no support for it. For mobile, once again, you can look in the App Store to find what's best for you, but uh, just from what I've seen, Video Shop looks like a good place to start. Now, you've got a nice video of your drawing process, all edited up just the way you like it, but it's totally silent. You need music. A lot of people use their favorite songs in their videos, but I strongly suggest you don't because most songs are copyrighted. You mostly have to worry about this if your account is monetized because you won't be able to make money off of a video with copyrighted music. But even if you haven't monetized your account, using a copyrighted song could get your video muted, unavailable to watch in some countries, or just taken down entirely. And nobody wants that. So I suggest finding royalty-free music like um, what you see on screen here. Kevin MacLeod is an extremely popular choice for royalty-free music and has been for quite a while now, so you'll hear his work all over the internet. Everybody and their dog uses Kevin MacLeod music. I recommend making your videos about the length of one song or between three and six minutes. Plenty of people make speed paints longer than ten, you'll just have to find more music to fill up the time. That's it! I hope this helped at least one person begin speed painting. If this tutorial made it possible for you to start your own channel, Give yourself a shout out in the comments. I don't care. Maybe you'll find other speed painters channels to enjoy as well. Once again, if you have advice or input, <laughs> input, or if you know of other free programs that you like, toss a comment my way. I'll try to help if you have questions as best I can and answer as many as is possible. Happy speed painting.